All right, how to make a gate for your blower. A hand crank blower. Why in the world would anybody want to put a gate on a hand crank blower, right? I know what you're thinking. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't want air coming out of it, just don't crank the damn thing, right? All right, well, that's not the point. <coughs> We're trying to keep air from going back to it because, as you can see, the light through there. If air goes back to this, it's coming straight out of there. And that's what's happening on our forge over there. Because we have an electric fan and we have a hand crank fan. All right, so if we want to unplug it and take it someplace and do a demonstration or whatever, we just unplug it, close the gate on that fan over there, open this gate up here. And while that electric fan's blowing, we don't need to be sending all our air out here. So we're going to make a gate real quick. This thing had a messed up. I'm not going to pull this up. Well, I can. But that's, we actually glued it down. It was sticking way up and then had a drop off and come over. So we made a uh, gasket to solve that problem. Ground this down a little bit to make a transition. Didn't want to flatten the whole thing out. Because it was 3 sixteenths inch up. And I didn't want to grind that much material off of it. It already had some stress cracks somewhere that we fixed last night. You can't. You might be able to tell it, but there's, you can see some JB Well on there. <coughs> this is how you make your gates. And so this is ridiculously thick here, the bottom. You can see that's three eighths inch thick steel, but we wanted to be able to tighten it down, clamp that gasket real well, shut off the air leaks there, and not deform the metal because this, this is really finicky. Your gate is going to be really finicky. All right, it needs to move smoothly, and it's metal against metal. So there it is. This is a five-inch plate with a uh, inch and a half, inch and a half, which is three. Whoops, inch and a half, an inch and a half, which is three. Inch and a half here. So our hole is a two-inch hole. So the hole's right there, and then this is two-inch. So inch and a half, inch and a half, three, four, five. That gives us a five inch plate. And basically all you have to do now is put something on the other side of it to let the air go through. And then this slides back and forth. This slides back and forth. Okay, the easy way to do this, use three sixteenths inch for these, use eighth inch for that, okay? I didn't have that at the time. Had a bunch of eighth inch in the right size so I didn't have to cut and trim these pieces. Had this in an eighth inch. So we're gonna take the uh, fiber disc to that and polish that down a little bit and then this is how we have a stop so it doesn't fall out of there and you just set that on top of there and when you pull that back it hits that uh, right there and that's the reason why it doesn't come all the way out so basically it's whoops it's moving but all right so we're having a debug hours so what we did was put some beeswax and stuff on it and we uh, drug it through so you can see that we've got some places that we need to tighten up and grind down here, here, and over here. And on the back, these two spots there. And that's being caused by this area here and this area here. Some here. So we're just going to smooth all this down, thin this up a little bit, put it all back together, and we'll be in good shape. So stay tuned for the forge video over there. That has an um, electric fan with a rheostat. Uh, electrical switch we even have some uh, we even have some zoomed in I can't hold it still we even have some electrical uh, outlets on there since we're gonna have electricity but we'll have the outlets right and then that outlets box back there in the back that's for uh, if I want to plug something else into the variable and use it for a minute so stay tuned for that video but there's a good easy way to make you a gate you can put a handle on it do whatever you want this one's going up underneath the forge not out because the only time we're going to use it is if we're shutting off the uh, electric blower and using the hand crank. So we didn't want that sticking out in the way. So it's going up underneath. So that's why it's so short. Cheers. All right, we're going to do a demonstration. Go ahead. That pops out. Pops back in. And pull it out so they can see that that's closed off anyway. Yeah, see, that's not even going to leak. Good deal. There it is. 
going back on the uh, not that everybody's going to need to have a gate in front of their manually operated blower <laughs> if you don't want air going through it just don't crank it in but in our case we do